As we're driving, we hear like, and we're like, what the hell? It turns out Peter was farting right through our scenes. And he was trying to crack us to make us smile. Who does that? Oh yeah, the Farrelly brothers. <laughs> I think they do a lot of pranks. They, they like to keep their actors, their crew on their toes. They, they like to have fun. Kind of just set the tone. It's like, all right, these guys are crazy. This movie's crazy. I guess, you know, anything goes. Unless, of course, somebody comes up with uh, six minute abs, then you're in trouble, huh? No, 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 not six. I said seven. Nobody's coming up with six. Who works out in six minutes? You won't even get your heart going, not even a mouse right. on a wheel. That scene in Something About Mary, I'd say about 50% of that was improvised. We did about probably five or six takes. I'd, I'd like to see the stuff they didn't use. I just got into the mindset of a serial killer who's out on a highway all by himself. He's a little deranged and so, once I figured out the tone of who this guy was and where he kind of lived with that intensity, I was just able to say anything. I don't even know what half the lines are that I make up. I kind of just let my mouth open and see what comes out. And for that reason, I kind of almost forget it five seconds after I've said it, because I'm on to the next line. It's like you're dreaming about gorgonzola cheese when it's clearly free time, baby. Step into my office. Why? Because you're fucking fired. When I was a kid, me and my cousin Chris would play badminton. And we'd like whack the shuttlecock way up into the air. And in order to distract the other guy, we would yell, step into my office. You're fucking fired. We'd just drag it out. And so it has a double meaning for me. You fellas were going a little fast back there, wouldn't you say? You, uh, you fellas been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on grandpa's old cough medicine? The hidden secret in that line is when I was a little boy, my grandfather used to like to drink a rum and coke, but he didn't want the kids to know he was having a little shot. So he used to say to my grandmother, he'd always go, mother, bring me some more cough syrup. So every time someone quotes that line to me, it makes me think of my grandfather. With every role I do, for me, it's like I always want to leave behind something that no one's ever heard. They've never heard those words strung together. They've never had that imagery. It's fun for me because I don't know what I'm going to say. And that's why when I go and see these movies, like Dumb and Dumber or something about Mary, I didn't know what lines were going to end up in the movie. And so when I saw it for the first time, I was just like, where? What? Like, I don't remember saying them. So it's a surprise for me as much as it is for the rest of the audience.